So the windmill. If you're just starting out with this one, I strongly suggest starting without any weight at all, which I'll give you a demo in a second. Then just add weight lightly, okay? Light weight, I should say. So you can use a dumbbell, kettlebell. To make it even harder, instead of adding more weight, you can just hold the dumbbell by the end. Uh, yeah, and you can get the kettlebell, flip the kettlebell upside down, bottom up, bottoms up, anything like that. Instead of adding more weight, just make it more unbalanced, which you'll find out in a second. So to start the movement off, okay, just standing nice and tall. St step your feet out, just outside your hips. Now we'll start on our right side. We're gonna point our right toes out to the side, okay? So our left toes are pretty much facing forwards towards the camera here. This foot is facing out to the side. First up, hand goes on the thigh. Other hand, we point those fingers to the ceiling and I keep my eyes on this hand. I don't look down, I'm keeping my eyes up to the ceiling at this hand the whole time through the movements. Hand goes on the thigh, I'm literally just tracing my um, arm down my leg. As I look up to the ceiling, I'm pushing my hips back, really trying to concentrate on keeping those legs straight and locked out. You can bend this knee if you feel like you need to or if there's any sort of pain or impingements going on. Just a slight bend in this front leg, but if you can, try and keep it straight. We come down as we push our hips back. I'm really trying to open up, okay? So I'm opening up my chest to the ceiling as I come down, okay? And I'm still trying to almost push against this hand. As I turn and open my chest up to the ceiling, I hold and slowly come back up, twisting so I'm facing the front. And again, I'm coming down, tracing my hand as I push my hips back try and open up my chest to the ceiling, keep my eyes going straight up that hand to the ceiling and slowly coming back. Now, you might find that each side is different and it feels different, that is completely fine. You might get a little bit lower on this side, you mightn't get as low as me. This movement is gonna look different for everybody, okay? So just take your time through the exercise and once you feel like you've got it right with body weight and no weight in that hand, that's when you can add in something light and go, keep going from there. But again, we're punching that weight to the ceiling. These toes, now we're on the left side, are pointed out. Again, bend that knee if you feel like you need to, but ideally we wanna keep it straight. Hand comes straight down that leg. I'm still trying to open up my chest to that dumbbell. As I slide down, nice controlled breaths. As you come up, facing the front again, and then just nice and easy, taking your time, sliding that hand down, pay attention to your body where it feels tight, and coming back. Again, it's gonna feel different for everybody. You're gonna have different you know, limitations, tightness, mobility issues than I do. It's just a matter of taking your time, working through the movement, just trying to get as deep in that stretch as you can. Don't worry about what it looks like, worry about what it feels like and pay attention to your body.